Well, I've zoomed in uh, on the edit screen and this is patch one, the clean patch. And what you'll notice is it's, it's on the YAMP currently, so it's using a Blackface uh, Deluxe normal, so not the bright one. So uh, here's what that sounds like. And that's on my single coil neck. Uh, I can also activate the full humbucker, of course. And um, it's currently on a 112 uh, Blackface Deluxe cabinet, 57 on axis. Um, you can, of course, change the amps by turning the one knob because one refers to the amps, two refers to the cab, three refers to the mic. Uh, the first one is a distortion, uh, which is a tr tube drive, and I've also uh, connected the foot switch one to it. You have to enter here to set up which foot switch you want to use to control it. So that's how it works. Okay, um, yeah, so inactive and active see it's switching on so here's what that sounds like <laughs> and on foot switch 2 I have a tube screamer the order of the effects these are all in front of the amp so it doesn't matter where they are um, in the chain, uh, you can you can move them when, by holding this knob, and then you can move them around where you want to have them. Say, for instance, I want the tube screamer here. That's not not an issue. So now now it's there. And on foot switch three, for instance, I have um, that's the um, the sorry. I have the tremolo there. And on four, I have a delay. So let's go to the delay. That's after the amp, because I prefer delay, modulation, reverb after the amp. So it's an analog with mod, and you can double click the enter knob here to get access to all the different parameters. And you can select them here and turn the knobs, the value knob here, for instance. So here it's changing the, um, the time, delay time. You double click again to go back, and um, what's nice is that all um, uh, the editor also allows you to have the quick uh, quick access to, for instance, the time here. And um, here you can also set which type of effect uh, you want to have on this one, and which type of reverb, or uh, sorry, delay you want to have. So that's also a, a great option. This is a ping pong. <laughs> Dynamic delay, stereo delay, digital delay, digital delay with mod. Reverse delay, tube echo. Uh, this is reverb, sorry. Um, analog with mod again. And I can quickly go back, of course, to uh, my preset by pressing the switch again. And um, so it's not saved anything. You have to really press save and again save to save the preset and the changes you made. So the reverb is not default on, so I have to switch it on here. And let's again switch on the tube driver. Always nice sounding. And a tube screamer, of course, with some delay.
then on three I had the tremolo. You can also combine tremolo with uh, delay, of course. So let's quickly go over all the effects. Tube drive on the first position, uh, bias tremolo on the second. Pitch glide, I'm not using that here. Um, tube compressor, which I have on, which is um, adding a bit of compression, which is very nice. This is without it. So it's an important factor in this preset. The screamer, uh, the volume to be able to control the volume, of course. The amp settings, um, okay, on enter, you can see all the different parameters that are uh, comparable with these. Okay, back. And then we have the mixer, we can set the balance. Uh, that's, that's great uh, to pan, for instance, when you use uh, dual amps, two amps, you can pan left, right, or uh, pan in the middle both, uh, set the volume of both uh, amps, so that's a cool one. Um, this is the delay, which I covered. This is the reverb, which is set to uh, 63 spring. Let's switch off the, um, the mod and the delay. You can hear it really warble. Uh. 